Welcome back to new video. Ladies and gentlemen, spoilers, leaks, and previews are now out for My Hero Academia's next upcoming chapter 302. And yo, the leaks look absolutely amazing. Starting off, I know a lot of you are going to be once again upset that we're not getting the Baku Dekugo moments you all desperately want for the last couple chapters. So once again, it is going to be another keeping up with the Todoroki family. Like, it's honestly turned into a meme in the community with, like, keeping up with the Kardashians. But it's now called keeping up with the Todoroki. So honestly, all in all, I, I it's my favorite family and my favorite characters in the My Hero Academia manga. So I'm perfectly fine with it, though I know a lot of you are going to be upset set with that being said there is no break next week mha chapter 303 drops next week on the 28th also i want to point out to this guys i know a lot of you are like reacting to like the spoilers saying oh my god oh my god this confirms this this and that but guys remember these are at the end of the day spoilers none of this is in english a lot of it is in japanese and even the fan translations don't give you the correct information you need to know so instead of like instantly judging stuff guys wait until at least the fan translations are out wait until you get to read the chapter wait until you actually understand what is happening in the correct order and not just leaks and spoilers with just panel and paneling so guys always be sure to wait with that also being said guys thank you all so so much for those of you who subscribe to this channel only over 38 percent of you who watch these videos are subscribed so if you're part of the 61.8 percent that are not be sure to click that subscribe button and as i was saying before guys the next official chapter of the my character manga is this sunday uh february 21st remember guys the fan translations will be out on friday but the official chapter will always be out on sunday be sure to read the official chapter as it does obviously support the author of the my character manga koei harakoshi with that being said let's just jump straight into chapter 302 spoilers leaks and preview <laughs> Jumping straight into it without a moment's hesitation. My Hero Academia returns with chapter 302. The wrong way to put out a fire, part two. As everyone predicted from last week's chapter uh, being to, the wrong way to put out a fire, part one. This is obviously the immediate follow-up to last week's chapter ending on Toya attacking Shoto and Ray. Honestly, uh, I'm excited we're getting into part two straight away and not waiting a few extra weeks but the title for this chapter is the wrong way to put out a fire part two the chapter starts pretty much immediately after last week's chapter after the incident ng wouldn't let let any of his kids approach shoto and then we get a five year time skip shoto was forced by ng to train while his brothers were playing together now obviously this is the direct scene for my hero academia season one where shoto was looking down over his brothers playing football and he was being dragged by endeavor along so this is the panel from my hero academia season one now obviously in season one a lot of you have noticed toya's hair was red this is a mistake because obviously it's a black and white manga so they never knew toya's hair color toya's hair color is supposed to be ice white but anyway toya watched shoto with his evil looks from afar and honestly this kind of hurts because if if you remember season one, it's we see it from Shoto's point of view and how Shoto's so sad that he's not able to play with his brother and sister. But when you see it from Toya's point of view in this chapter, Toya is furious that Shoto is getting all the attention. Toya then says to Natsuo he was wrong for attacking Shoto, but his father was wrong too, because he kept making kids when they didn't show good results, he threw them away. Now, obviously, Toya is a lot older than Natsuo at this point, but Natsuo doesn't understand what is exactly going on, and Toya feels betrayed about this, because he feels like his own brother should trust trust his own judgment of what's going on now obviously not so is like four years or five years old at this point a five-year-old ain't gonna understand some family drama especially when toy is like what 12 or 13 
at this point, I, I want to say, or maybe 14 at this point. I'm not entirely too sure. Anyway, the chapter goes on. Toya said the woman in his family's were all failures. That's the reason he didn't talk to him. Ray comes in and stops Toya from training in the mountain. She said Toya should look up to someone else other than his father so he can become an ideal being. Obviously, this enrages Darby because his own mother saying don't look up to your own father the father that he's trying to please so much this makes toya really really mad and this is where a lot of the hate in this chapter is coming uh toya says ray was just sold to ng because her grandparents were poor that's the reason he was born yo toya toya not pulling any stops and a lot of people are calling him a misogynist like guys are you fucking kidding me he's 12 years old calm the fuck down honestly mha mha fandom really just hurts my brain sometimes when i read the comments anyway the chapter goes on at age 13 in winter toya finally learns how to use the blue flames and yo at age 13 using blue flames that is insanity like toya is strong man like he is absolutely strong uh the trigger was his emotional excitement and because of the change in his body he wants to show it to ng so he can finally so ng could finally say he's glad toya is born now imagine this yeah you do something really amazing you you run up to your mom or dad and be like hey dad hey mom hey dad hey mom look look what i can do right and you're like expecting them to hug you and be like yes let's go son and they just they're just mad at you they're like oh why couldn't you do this sooner Ooh, why couldn't you do this better i know i might be speaking a lot from personal experiences i don't want to get too deep but i might be speaking a lot from personal experiences but i understand toy's feelings in this moment because fuck that shit that shit does hurt obviously endeavor is enraged at this moment he angrily enters ray's room uh we don't actually see what happens but apparently he hits her asking why she didn't stop toya uh apparently shoto actually tries to stop endeavor but he's ordered to go away now i mean at the end of the day what is he supposed to do we actually do have the panel for this when darby awakens his fireside he looks so so cool he's literally burning in blue flames during the winter and we see the panel of him like happily smiling trying to show it to endeavor and endeavor's reactions just i don't want it to get to do too deep but i understand I, uh, um, that shit that shit is painful you know i understand how he feels uh ray said she couldn't stop him and ng never came to the mountain to see um obviously darby training this upset toya and his tears changed into flames burning his entire body obviously this is how he starts to get his scars the reason why he got burned is because ng didn't teach him how to properly control the flames when he increases his level obviously at the end of the day toya is trying to learn all of this by himself to impress his own father his own father is not teaching him at all how to even control his flames like yeah sure toya might not have a good affinity to fire but at the end of the day, if you just teach him, like, he's going to become a very strong hero. They're pretty much the same way as you. So, the real bad guy in this, it really is Endeavor. Apparently, this incident made a gap in the family. Natsu said it all started because of Enji, but he's at fault too. If at that time he faced Toya properly, Dobby wouldn't have been born. But at the end of the day, how are you going to blame Natsu? He was literally like a six-year-old at that time. He doesn't understand what's going on. Rei said no, all of them are responsible for Toya. Um, she said Shoto, who should have hated them right now, still considers her as a mother and he became a hero. Shoto consulted with Rei about his decisions to fight Toya if Enji can't do it, but it seems he can't do it alone. He said the, the time to cry is over. Uh, we do actually get a shot of Deku talking to Todoroki. Obviously, this is from the fire, um, from the, uh, from the, uh, sorry, from the uh, sports festival. Sorry, I totally forgot that arc's name. This is from the sports festival. We get we do get deck with this chapter but sadly he's in a flashback where he told uh, Todoroki this is your flames this is your future stop fighting for anybody else fight for yourself um now all of them will stop Toya together apparently they all agree to stop Toya together uh best genius and Hawks actually overhear this conversation in the corridor smiling and hearing the Todoroki's family's determination my hero academia chapter 302's last line they can't stop here let's go endeavor no break as i mentioned next week chapter 303 releases on the 28th of february all in all a pretty solid chapter 
uh, the derby moments are just absolutely heartbreaking because obviously like i can actually like feel that feeling from my own experiences so it really does like it hurts me a lot because like i've been in his moments where like he's just so happy to show his dad that he's like training so hard and then obviously his dad or like mom i don't like which mom or whatever just shuts him down completely it, li it really does hurt it does put a really bad like mental image into you you you're like you feel like you're never enough so you can absolutely understand the reasons why Darby went down the path he did. But at the end of the day, I'm excited to see what is going to happen. I do really want them to, like, get Darby back on the good side, them to become a family. But at the end of the day, Darby is gone. Like, you can't ignore... Like, sure, you can, you can like, emphasize with him, but you can't ignore all the evil deeds Darby has done, all the people he's killed for the sake of revenge against Endeavor. So... Man, my character made character writing is really on par. It's, re it's really, really good. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. My name is me as always. Peace.